By April 2011, Facebook's value has swelled to $65 billion. And Paul Seglia ups the ante. To bolster his assertion that his investment is real, he submits to the court what looks like email excerpts. They claim to be back and forth with him and Zuckerberg. In one of the messages dated July 2003, Mark Zuckerberg purportedly asks Seglia for permission to use the coding work he's done for Street Facts on Facebook. It reads, I've been tweaking the search engine today and I'm pleased with its results. I'd like to use it for the Harvard site. I think it will really help people find each other. Even if they spell names incorrectly, would it be agreeable with you if I adapt the source code? Thanks. In another one, dated January 2004, Seglia appears to berate Zuckerberg for supposedly missing Facebook's launch deadline. He writes, I'm starting to think you just blew that money, Mark. You know perfectly well that you can't just take a person's investment and then spend it on women and beer or whatever you do up there in Harvard. Everyone was really interested to see these emails, but there was no evidence that they were actually real. In June 2011, an attorney for Facebook and Zuckerberg asks the court for permission to run scientific tests on the paper contract and to search through Seglia's electronic media. There is no question on this earth that he never signed a contract with Paul Seglia that had anything to do with Facebook, period. If, however, when he manufactured, doctored, cut and paste a bogus document to make it appear as if this was a Facebook contract, but then concocted bogus emails, which he did, fraudulent emails, therefore case over because he's committing a fraud on the court. 